For those who are using Oreo Roam or are on stock Android Oreo, this video is for you and for all Dolby Atmos lover. So hello friend, this is VJ back again with a new interesting video and in this video I will show you how to install Dolby Atmos on any Android device which is running on Oreo or above. And we will also talk about the all new features of the Dolby Atmos. So watch this video properly till end in order to know everything and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below this video in order to get more interesting videos like this. So guys without wasting any further time, let's start this video. So now first of all you need to download some file from this website and I will provide the link to this website in the description below. So after downloading you need to copy both the files to your external SD card or to your phone's internal storage. And also you need to have a rooted phone in order to finish this process. And if you have Super SU and if you want to switch to Magis for routing process then you can watch my video from here. And if you want to install Magis directly on your device then you can also watch my video from here as I have already made a video regarding that. So now you need to boot your phone into recovery menu. And then you have to click on this install button and you have to locate the file where you have downloaded it. So for in my case, I have copied it to my internal storage. I will go to in internal storage and here you have, you have to look for the folder in which you have copied your file. So first of all, you need to flash this Dolby Atmos Exxon 7 Oreo Unity 2.25.18 zip file. And here you have to swipe to confirm flash it. So it will not take more than 30 to 40 seconds to flash this file so just be patient while the process goes on and as you can see that the process is done so now you need to reboot your device and after restart you can see that the Dolby Atmos has been successfully installed as they have their two icons that is Dolby Atmos and Dolby Surround Sound. And if you have Magisk and you are facing this kind of error, then you need to upgrade the Magisk to the latest version. So now as you can see that they have redesigned this Dolby Atmos and it looks pretty cool as you can see. The graphic equalizer has been changed and the whole menu has been redesigned in such a way that it looks pretty cool. And in addition you also get this Dolby surround sound option in which you get two mode that is music mode and theater mode. Music mode is mostly preferable when you are listening music as it makes your music even louder and theater mode it just balances the music and gives you a pleasure of great sound. So overall if you want to experience the best sound quality in your mobile then you can simply switch to Dolby Atmos and they have redesigned the look and it looks pretty cool now. And if you are getting any kind of boot loop or any kind of error while installing Dolby Atmos and if it gets successfully installed and it is creating some problem for you then you can simply uninstall it. Then how to uninstall it? You need to just simply go to install and you have to install this Magis plus Super SU recovery management dot zip file. So you need to flash this file first. And after flashing the file you need to go to this advanced tab. Here you have to go to this file manager and you have to locate the folder named as Magisk. So as you can see that this is the folder named Magisk. Here you have to go inside this folder and you have to click on this Dolby Atmos folder. And now you have to click on this and you now you have to delete the file. So once it's done you need to reboot the system. So any boot loop or any kind of error, everything will be gone after this deletion. So in this way, you can uninstall the Dolby Atmos in very easy way. So guys, this was all about this video and I hope so you like this video. And if so, hit that like button. Please do like this video because I get motivated when I see more likes. And if you do not like the video, you can even dislike it. And why you dislike it, do tell the reason in the comment section below. 
so guys also you can get connected to me over facebook and instagram and i will provide the link for the same in the description below and if you have any kind of queries or you want to ask me anything you can just ask me by using a hash ask vj and you can comment down in the comment section below so guys we'll end this video here and i will see you in my next one